What's going on guys, Gabe here, and we are talking about a subject matter that's boring. Webcams, webcams. And we're living in a day and age where everyone needs a webcam. Welcome to the age of telecommuting, and you want to look your best among your peers. You got 32 people in a Zoom meeting, and you're sitting there pixelated, looking like a 16-bit Sega Genesis Sonic the Hedgehog reject. So we are going to up your streaming game. And for those with Mac, you know, I feel bad. You spend $1,700 up to $2,200 and the configurations can get you damn near as high as $15,000 with a Mac product. But with all that good money spent, you still get 720p resolution out of your cameras. YouTube doesn't even consider 720p as HD. So now, it's time to up your game. If you're a gamer and you have a monitor like myself and it doesn't have a webcam, we have a solution for you. If Zoom is your thing, if Google Hangouts is your thing, we have a solution for you. Now, I know a lot of you are like, well, Gabe, what about just using the app natively on the phone? Yes, you can. But what about those moments when you have to screen share, PowerPoint presentations, spreadsheets, you wanna show your screen? You can't do that with your phone, and maybe you can. I'll probably figure that out, but for the sake of ease of use, you need a dedicated webcam. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use what's already in your pocket as opposed to jumping on eBay and getting price gouged for 300 bucks. Who doesn't like free? Because these apps that I'm gonna share with you are free and if you decide to go pro version, it's gonna cost you a measly 10 bucks at the most. So let's get right to it. Now for those who are not tech savvy, this is not that intimidating. It's comprised of two components. You install the app on your phone and then you install the client on your Mac or your PC. And I'm going to show you how to do exactly just that because it's not intimidating. So first up we have IV Cam. And IV Cam seems to work the best on Windows devices. So if you have a Windows PC, you want to use IV Cam. Now this application is ad supported, but it is very versatile for the incredible price of free. Obviously, you can upgrade to the pro version and you remove ads and the watermark, but for what it is, it's incredible. So I'm going to include the link down in the description and you would simply go over to your PC, install the Windows client, and then open the app on your phone. Now, in my testings, I'm never gonna throw anything out to you guys without testing it first. In my testings, I found that you need to run the app twice. Not sure why. What that means is the app is open on your smartphone, but you need to open the application twice on your Windows PC. Not sure if it's a bug or something that's gonna be fixed in the future, but it works after that. You know, we were sitting there for a good 10 minutes wondering where the heck is the screen. And it may happen to you, it may not happen to you, it just might be my luck and again, don't know. But open up two instances of IV Cam on your desktop and you should be able to get your camera going and it supports iOS and also Android and we found it to work the best with Android because the other alternative for Mac users now I know Mac users say hey you know like we already got a webcam but it's crap it's garbage you know this so we have epoch cam and the process is exactly the same there's a free version and then there is a paid version. The paid version is worth every dollar. Again, you're paying eight or nine bucks compared to 50, 60, 70, 300 bucks that you're finding online right now. And you're getting really great quality video out of the iPhone. Now this is the iPhone 11 and we were immediately surprised at how great it is. So the way you install Epoch Cam is you go on over to the app store and you download Epoch Cam. Make sure you look for the pro version, it's the paid version. If you really wanna try it out before you dive in, you can opt for the free version, but the paid version allows for high definition and that is basically what you would want. Otherwise, you can just stick to your measly little 720p camera on your Mac. And just like IV Cam, 
on Mac, you would then go to epochcam.com and install the client, make sure the client is running, and then you would just boot it up on your iOS device and you're rocking and rolling. So after we've met the prereqs with the installation on our smartphone and on our Mac or PC, the next thing we want to do is open up something like Zoom or Google Meet, whatever platform you are using to stream your video and check your settings and make sure that in the video settings, whether it's Zoom, Google Meet, even OBS, that you select IVC cam or Epoch cam. Now these are basically virtual webcams, so they are part of the drop-down sequence no matter what application you're using, with exception to Skype. We found on Mac, it was impossible for the Mac to recognize either virtual cam, and yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, guys. Now with both, applications you're getting video but you're not getting audio so i would recommend something like a usb mic or a lapel mic that you could find on amazon for about 15 dollars. i will also include that link down in the description i want you guys to check out the free versions before you jump on in let me know your experiences let me know what you think and if i could help in the installation process i definitely will but I really think that this is a game changer and it helps consolidate all the peripherals and the components on your Mac and your PC and just lets you go on with your life. This is a smartphone, guys, and we gotta put it to use after all. We did spend a thousand dollars on it, right? Anyways, this is Gabe with the Review Dork. I hope you guys learned something. I am signing out. Peace.